words can't explain, you know. Uh, I love to play football. It's a game. I love enjoying it. Uh, everybody came out, did their thing tonight. And it was just fun running around, you know, being on the sidelines and stuff. This whole time with the injury and not being able to compete, it was hard. But, shoot, everybody was getting the job done. Keenan was holding it down. He's still doing his thing. And, you know, we just got to keep going. What's it been like since you've been off? You look better than you have even at the beginning of the season today. Like, what were you doing to prepare to get back? Uh, well, that's just credit to, you know, first of all, glory to God. I had surgery and stuff, so, I mean, yeah, that's that. And, I mean, the doctors, uh, training staff, the coaches, you know, making sure. Because uh, last week there was a chance I could have played, but, you know, like, obviously I wasn't ready. My body, was, my knee wasn't ready for it. So just, you know, a whole team job, you know, everybody just finally clearing me and being like, yeah. Well, I was clear, so. Everybody just making a decision and putting it on me, whether it asked me if I if I was comfortable to play, and it was good. So, what, you, is that, what does that say about you all? Like, about all the injuries, to all the talk, things of that nature. Like, what does that say about you all? That you all, even this last season, didn't jump five and one, and y'all still have the opportunity to compete. Yeah, I feel like it's just a coach's thing. You know that everybody on the team loves to compete. Uh, that's that was the that was the whole thing over this summer, and it's just the fact that I got great people around me. Uh, it's not really credit to me, it's credit to everybody else, you know. People saying I look good today is really just check the check the film. You see the O-line moving people back. You see the White House blocking downfield. And uh, Keaton did his thing tonight, so he was he was going crazy. And it's, it's just a whole credit to everybody around me that, that you know, helped, helped me get to where I am today and helped me, you know, just come back strong from a great coaching staff and everybody, so. Can you walk us through warm-ups and at what point you felt? ready like you were going to play or oh out. i knew i was going to play on when uh, like when the week started okay. so like against cal i, I kind of had an idea i wasn't going to play just because it was like iffy i told myself i wasn't going to play unless i was 100 percent and today i felt good so i mean i knew i, I knew i was going to play the whole time uh yeah that's pretty much and by 100 percent, you mean like trusting the knee yes, yes. how did you think what did you think the turning point to the game today was was it kind of a I feel like maybe halftime when we came in and just locked in. Of course, we had some slip-ups here and there at three and out or whatever, but at halftime, we kind of just knew, you know, everybody just lock in, continue to do your job. It's going to take the whole team. All three facets of the game is not going to be just the offense or just the defense. It's going to be special teams, offense, and defense. Whether or not the offense gets in the end zone, the defense has to come up, you know, we're all one. So it was just a whole team effort, and that's how we got the job done today. So. Yeah, you know, I mean, his stats can't even explain half of what he does for the offense. It's, it's, it's the impact he has on everybody around him. You know, when he's on the field and off the field, when, when he's just around the team, the whole morale of the team is up there. You know, that, that's the kind of that's the kind of impact he, he has on, on this team and this family. So, I mean. Uh, we got one more game together. We're going to rock it out. We've got a couple practices together, so we're just going to enjoy it and have some fun. Did you sense that he was maybe a little bit emotional running on the field for his last title? Or, for his last That's crazy because Pitt's not like the emotional dude. And honestly, I didn't even see him tear up or nothing. So, like, I mean, he was straight the whole time. It was just he was having fun with it. Uh, we were roommates on us, and that's all we used to do. We used to go up all the time, like, playing music loud and stuff. So, I mean, it was just funny. Uh, we never really thought of it like, damn, it's your last game in college. We was just like, damn, let's go have some fun today. How important was it to get that eight-yard touchdown that you had right after Keaton got hurt? You know, just kind of. Oh yeah, I, I feel like the, uh, to get any touchdown is important. You know, like when we go on the field, our our goal is to come off with with six points. So I mean, the O line just did great. They kind of opened up the hole. I was kind of not even really touched. I just it was kind of a walk in, and that's credit to the O line and the White House blocking. So I mean, it. it I feel like it was it was great for great morale for the team, you know, energy coming up. But uh, that's our goal. Whether it's good or bad on our side, we just gotta we just gotta keep the enthusiasm up because our coaches, I would say, the most excited team is, is the team that's gonna come out on top. How did those first couple carries feel? You look pretty juiced. Oh yeah, it was fun. You know, uh, I mean, first time back in a minute. Uh, I was watching from the sidelines a lot. Like while I was sitting out, you know, and it was just like, dang, I can't wait to play. And it was, I was granted the opportunity to play today. Everybody did their thing tonight. Blocking was great. You know, the run game was was, was tight. Uh, Keaton had some time to throw, and Keaton made the throws. So I feel like it was just a great team effort. And, uh, just being around the guys, you know, like 
after because you're there even though when you're not playing you're still there but when you get to play and take the field with your teammates that's, that's the most fun part about it with your ability to run inside and give that inside out game what do you think the potential of this offense can be Good job, brother. given a full year a full year. meaning with your ability to run in between the tackles yes. and the potency of the receivers, how good do you think this offense could truly be? Oh, uh, there's no ceiling, I feel like. I feel like at the end of the day, coaches, I would say, our, our offense is not really air raid. It's more of an execution-based offense. I feel like as long as we can continue to execute every time, every play, and do our job and not, you know, turn the ball over or make minimal mistakes with the flags, we'll be, the sky's the limit, man.